Hello everyone, welcome to John Mac Classroom. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for differentiation. So given the situation where we have y is equal to 1 plus psi x over cos x, question asks us to show the situation for the dy dx, or we can say the first derivative. So refers to the y equals to 1 plus psi x over cos x. Kindly assume the situation which is u and for the denominator which is the v. So we are going to apply the quotient rule. So where we have the dy dx, is equals to v, where we have cos x, multiplied by the u prime. So in here, we have to differentiate the 1 plus psi x. So if we differentiate the 1 plus psi x, differentiate the 1, we will have 0. Differentiate the psi x, and we will have the cos x. Minus, we have the u, where we have 1 plus psi x. Next, v prime, meaning that multiply with the v prime. So differentiate the v, which is the cos x, so we will obtain negative psi x. So finally, we have v squared for the denominator. So here we can say it cos squared x. So focus on the numerator, kindly expand and then simplify the situation. So we have the first derivative equals to cos squared x. Then kindly expand the situation. So for this case, we will have the negative sine x multiply with the negative. So we will obtain a positive sine x. Next, we have a positive sine squared x. So kindly rewrite the situation. So we have dy dx is equals to cos square x plus with the sine square x plus with the sine x over the cos square x. So kindly refers to the situation where we have the basic identity. As we all know, cos square x plus with the sine square x, which is equals to 1. So meaning that here we have 1. Next, we have to simplify the situation where we have the cos square x, which is equal to 1 minus sine square x. If we factorize the situation, and we will have 1 minus sine x, 1 plus sine x. So that is the situation for cos square x. So kindly substitute the situation. So in here, we will have dy dx is equal to 1 plus sine x over. We have the cos square x, which is equal to 1 minus sine square x. So kindly factorize the situation, and we will have 1 plus sine x over, we have 1 minus sine x multiplied with 1 plus sine x. So we have a common terms, so we can simplify, and then finally, we can show that the dy dx, which is equal to 1 over 1 minus sine x. So we already shown the situation. Hence, find the second derivative. So in here, we have the first derivative. So my suggestion would be, modify the situation where we have 1 minus sine x, power of negative 1. So kindly differentiate the situation. So we have the second derivative equals to negative. We have 1 minus sine x to the power of negative 2. And differentiate the internal function, where we have to differentiate the 1, which is equal to 0. Differentiate the sine, and we will have bracket negative cos x. Kindly rewrite the situation. So here we have the second derivative, which is equal to negative Multiply with the negative cos, and we will have cos x over 1 minus sine x, bracket, we have the square. So that is the situation for the first derivative and also the second derivative. Next, can we focus on second part? Given the situation, y is equal to long bracket x plus with the square root of x squared plus 1. Question asks us to find the first derivative. Hence, evaluate the dy dx when the value of x is equal to 1. So my suggestion would be, I'm going to modify the situation. So here we have the log form. My suggestion is to express the situation in the exponential form or the index form. So here we have the ln, which is log base e. So if I modify and we will have exponent y, which is equal to x, plus with the bracket x squared plus 1, we have the power 1 over 2. So kindly differentiate the situation with respect to x. So if we differentiate the exponent y and we will have exponent y, Focus on the power, and we will have the dy dx equals to differentiate the x, and we will obtain 1. Plus, with the situation, we have 1 over 2 bracket x squared plus 1 to the power of negative 1 over 2. Differentiate the internal function, and we will have 2x. Rewrite the situation. So here we have exponent y multiplied with the y prime is equals to 1. Plus, with the situation, we have x over square root of x squared plus with the 1. So 
Kindly continue the situation. So y prime, or we can say the dy dx, which is equals to 1 plus with the x over square root of x square plus with the 1 over, we have the situation where we have exponent y. So in here, the exponent y, where we have the situation ln bracket x plus with the square root of x square plus with the 1. So kindly observe the situation. Here we can simplify and it become 1s. So kindly rewrite the situation. So we have the dy dx is equals to 1 plus with the x over square root of x square plus with the 1 over we have x plus with the square root of x square plus with the 1. Next is to substitute the value when x is equals to 1. So if we substitute x equals to 1 and we will have dy dx where we have x is equals to 1. Next, 1 plus with the 1 over square root of 2. Over, we have the situation 1 plus with the square root of 2. So kindly focus on the numerator. So if we equal the denominator and we will have the square root of 2 plus with the 1 over the square root of 2. And then divide with the situation 1 plus with the square root of 2. Rewrite the situation. We have the square root of 2 plus with the 1 over square root of 2. Multiply with 1 over. Can we rearrange the situation? We have square root of 2 plus with the 1. So notice that we have a common terms. So we can simplify. And then finally, rewrite the situation. And we have the dy dx is equal to 1 over square root of 2. So multiply by the conjugate, which is the square root of 2. And then finally, we have the dy dx would be the square root of 2 over 2. So that is a situation for the dy dx and also the value for the dy dx when x is equal to 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.